Hey everybody, have you been thinking about moving to Surrey but maybe you're having some second thoughts because you keep hearing from your friends or your workmates about how dangerous of a place Surrey is to live and to raise a family? Well, don't worry, I'm going to tell you all about Surrey True Crime right after this. Today's video, I'm going to give you the straight facts about Surrey. We're going to talk about the crime, we're going to compare it to other parts of the country and within the province, and at the, by the end of the video, you'll be an expert about all the crime that is happening right now in Surrey. Hey everybody, my name is Dan Ryder. I'm a longtime realtor here in the Fraser Valley. My specialty areas are Surrey, South Surrey, White Rock, so if you ever need a hand, you're thinking of buying or selling, reach out to me anytime, I'm happy to help. Now let's talk about Surrey and let's talk about crime. Well, first of all, I've got to tell you, as you probably know, if you've been thinking of moving to Surrey, it's quite a popular place to live. Over 1,000 people a month move to Surrey. Current population is around 530,000 people, and by 2030, it will be the largest city in BC. Surrey has so much to offer families. It's a city full of impressive parks. In fact, it's known as a city of parks and boasts over 300 kilometers of walking trails and bike paths. Surrey is also home to a fantastic transit system. We have the SkyTrain, which can get you from Wally King George Station into downtown Vancouver in 40 minutes or less. As well, if you're living in South Surrey, you're only a couple minutes away from the U.S. border. There's two border crossings in South Surrey. Or, if you ever want to go on a holiday somewhere or you have to fly for business, we're only about 30 minutes away from YBR, the airport in Richmond. Surrey provides abundant recreation facilities, fitness centers, tennis courts, swimming pools, skateboard parks, anything you're looking for in terms of either physical activity or maybe some sort of cultural events, Surrey has it all. There's a ton of community-based activities throughout the year as well, made available to the public, so things like festivals and parades as well. Surrey has a pretty vibrant arts scene, so if that's what you're into, you're going to really enjoy living here. As well, if you're considering buying real estate, you will be pleasantly surprised to find out that Surrey provides way more bang for the buck than what you're going to get in Vancouver, Burnaby, Richmond, or Coquitlam. So, Surrey sounds like the perfect place to live, right? But here's the drawback. Surrey has a reputation for crime. If you grew up in Surrey like I did, you would be well aware of the reputation that Surrey has as a crime-infested city. I remember as a kid, we'd go to visit our cousins in other parts of the Lower Mainland. And of course, you know, they'd be ribbing me like, hey man, how dangerous is your school? Do you have to take a gun there to protect yourself? And this is the type of reputation that Surrey has had for a number, a number of years. So where did this reputation for Surrey as a dangerous place come from? Well, I think it really started late 60s, early 70s, when Surrey was really just starting out. You know, it was really a bedroom community to Vancouver. Um, it, it was considered at that time a long ways away from where all the action was. So we were more like a sort of a country town. But what's interesting is I found some old clippings from newspapers back in the day talking about Surrey. And uh, they, they describe it as a cluster of shopping centers, honky-tonk strips, laden with drive-in restaurants, run-down hotels, bowling alleys, and car lots. Now, does that sound like a great place? What do you think of when you hear that, right? You're thinking, wow, these people sound kind of tough. Maybe they're more lowbrow, maybe redneck type people living in Surrey based on that. And of course, this reputation continued on and on and on over the years. In fact, even today, here we are like 40 years later, and you turn on the TV on a Sunday night and watch the news, and there's always a lead story with something that happened in Surrey. Now, that's, it's interesting to me because even if the person involved in something, uh, you know, this crime did not occur in Surrey, they're always going to say, well, Surrey resident Joe Blow did this, right? For whatever reason, the media has consistently slagged Surrey. So if you think that's tough, hearing all this in the media all the time, even our own current mayor, you know, uh, put out a press release saying, I think this was around election time, saying, well, from residents to business owners, the one message that I have heard constantly is that people continue to feel unsafe in our city. Yikes. I mean, this is the guy in charge of the city saying that everybody feels unsafe. Now, how is, how is that helping your city, right? What are people going to think about us? They're thinking Surrey is a dangerous place, right? Okay, let's get into it. Let's talk about Surrey now. So is it a dangerous, crime-infested uh, capital for car thefts, murders, drug offenses, all the, all the bad things that can happen in the world? Do they only happen in Surrey? Well, the honest answer is no. And that's an emphatic no. I'm going to break down the numbers for you so you can better understand where Surrey sits in relation to a lot of other cities in our province as well as across Canada. So how do I know that Surrey is a safe place to live? Well, I've done a little bit of research. You know, Government of Canada, the Statistics Department, uh, publishes a report each year called the Crime Severity Index. 
So the CSI is provided by Statistics Canada, and it's a measure of all police reported crime across the country based on the volume as well as the severity of the crime. So if you were to look at what that average number is for all across Canada, well, Canada's overall CSI is 75 0.01. So a higher number means a uh, community has much more severe crime. So let's get into the numbers. Let's take a look. So the categories of crime that uh, Stats Canada looks at are, well, pretty much every type of crime you can think of. We've got homicide, assaults, firearm offenses, robbery. We've got uh, breaking and entering, fraud, impaired driving, drug trafficking, and youth crime. So overall, of all the cities in Canada, where do you think Surrey ranks in the top 10? Ah, uh, that's a trick question. Surrey is not anywhere close to the top 10 for crime in Canada. Where do you think number one is? Well, number one is North Battleford, Saskatchewan. That's right, that uh, North Battleford is West Central Saskatchewan. It uh, has a population of just under 20,000 and has a whopping crime severity index of 385. Now, if you were to ask me number two, well, that's also on the prairies. That's Thompson, Manitoba, crime severity index of 365. Now, the highest crime uh, ranked city here in BC, who do you think number one was in BC for crime? Well, I'm going to tell you. Uh, number one in BC was Quinnell, and they had a CSI of 291. So Quinnell was number three, uh, number one in BC, and number three in Canada. So where is Surrey in all this? Well, here we go. Surrey is ranked number 70 out of this list of 237 uh, cities or towns. Not so bad, hey? But now, uh, comparatively, uh, our crime severity index is 90. So certainly, yes, it's higher than the national average, but I'll break it down for you uh, towards the end of the video here to give you a better idea what type of crimes are occurring, and you may feel even better about Surrey. But I tell you, hey, being 70th on this list, when you see what other cities or towns are on here, you're going to feel really good about moving to Surrey. So what was interesting to me when I looked at this list, well, you know, some of the communities or towns that I always thought, wow, that'd be a great place to live, and I wouldn't have given a second thought that they would have an issue with crime. Well, it turns out quite a few of those are on this list. So, uh, a city that I've always liked or I admire, you know, summertime, you might head up to Penticton, right? It's a great spot to hang around. You might go camping up there, do some boating, whatever. I've always enjoyed Penticton and it's always been on my mind like, hey, maybe we'll retire up there or buy a cottage or whatever. But anyways, Penticton, can you believe it? Small town, it is ranked 19th in Canada for crime. Penticton has a CSI of 146, so definitely way higher than Surrey with a CSL, CSI of 90. So what's going on in this summer paradise of Penticton? Well, I'll tell you, I'll give you a bit of a breakdown. Crimes like fraud, uh, breaking and entering, impaired driving, they're all way higher than what the national average is. So if you were to jump in the car from Penticton, you head 90 kilometers up the Okanagan Highway, where do you end up? Well, you end up in beautiful Vernon, which is, you know, a very nice city. You're surrounded by three lakes. You've got Kalamalka Lake, Okanagan Lake, Swan Lake. You're nestled in this little, really a nice community. There's a lot of beautiful world-class resorts right there on the water. Well, it seems like a great spot to live, right? Well, you know what? It's a great place to visit, but you probably wouldn't want to live there. Vernon is ranked 25th for criminal activity in Canada and is number 9 on the list here in BC. So what are the issues in Vernon? Well, there's crimes happening regularly like assault, robbery, breaking and entering, impaired driving, and drug trafficking. All of these are well above the national average. So let's look a little closer to home. Let's talk about Chilliwack. You know, I've had lots of clients over the years that have moved out there. They want what they think is going to be a slower lifestyle, more of, hey, out in the country, fresh air, right? Chilliwack's a very attractive place, beautifully nestled, that valley there, surrounded by mountains, a very attractive place to live. I always thought, hey, you know, good for you, nice spot to be. But what I didn't realize is how much crime occurs in Chilliwack. On the national list, Chilliwack is ranked 30th in Canada with a CSI of 123. So definitely way above the national average of 75 and way above Surrey's average of 90. So what gives Chilliwack such a high score? Well, they're high on the list for assaults, break and enters, fraud, and drug offenses. Surprisingly, Chilliwack, yeah, to, their, to their credit, they are well below the national average for impaired driving offenses. Another little city that uh, surprised me over on the island is Parksville. I've always admired Parksville. We used to go there quite a bit when my kids were little. We enjoyed a lot of time over there on the beach. I always thought, beautiful community. And I've had a number of clients 
uh, from here in Surrey that have moved over to the island and have purchased townhomes or ranchers or whatever over in the Parksville area. It seems like an ideal retirement community for older folks. Well, it turns out Parksville is ranked 33rd on the list in Canada for crimes. They have a CSI of 120. So again, much higher than Surrey's, which is 90, and way higher than the national average of 75. So what's funny to me is all these seniors are escaping the Lower Mainland, the rat race here, and in their mind they're thinking, oh, I'm getting away from them all. I'm just going to go to Parksville. We'll be nice and safe. Well, it turns out actually Parksville is uh, more dangerous than Surrey. You may be wondering, well, what's going on in a sleepy little town like Parksville? Well, it has a higher occurrence and average of impaired drivers, for one, almost twice the average number of break and enters. This is a retirement area. I think of it as kind of a retirement area. How would you feel? More than twice the national average for break and enters, and well, as well, a higher than normal amount of drug trafficking offenses. So that really surprised me. Parksville, a dangerous place to be. Also surprising to me, uh, other cities within BC, Kelowna, Nanaimo, they're 35 and 36 on the list, and the city of Vancouver is ranked 46. So now let's take a look at our closest neighbor to the east. So east of us here in Surrey, what is it? There's Langley. And this area is Langley City. So that goes, that, that area is comprised of the Willowbrook area out to Murrayville. It includes um, sort of where the Costco area is, the downtown Langley, the older part of Langley. Heads out towards uh, there's almost, almost Willoughby, but also the Yorkson area. So 208, 210, that whole big section there. Well, that area you think would be, hey, that's Langley. I've had a lot of customers go out there over the years thinking, hey, we can uh, get a nice house out here it's going to be safe it has more of a country feel well it turns out that Langley is ranked number 16 in Canada that's right number 16 in Canada for crime with a CSI their CSI is 154 so way more dangerous uh, of a place to live than here in Surrey so what's going on in Langley what makes Langley such a dangerous place well their assault rate per 100,000 uh, population is 571 the uh, national average here in Canada is 457 Firearm offenses per 100,000, well, that's uh, 10.78 in Langley compared to 7.5 for Canada. Robbery rate, well, your odds of getting robbed in Langley are pretty good. Their rate is 158 incidents per 100,000. National average is 60. Uh, breaking and entering per 100,000, wow, 844 in Langley compared to 431. So the odds of being broken into in Langley are twice the national average. Now let's compare Langley to Surrey. Surrey is 70th on the list and has a CSI, Crime Severity Index, of 90. So certainly the RCSI at 90 is, is definitely higher than the national average of 75. What do, we, what do we have for crime in Surrey? Well, our assault rate per 100,000, our number is 368 and the national average is 457. So hey, we're way less assaults going on in Surrey than the national average, as well way less in Langley, which is at 571. So we're looking pretty good. Firearm offenses per 100,000 here in uh, Surrey, our average 6.16, national average 7.56, Langley 10.78. Again, well below uh, the national average and, and Langley for firearm offenses, so we're looking good. Robbery rate, again, we're lower than uh, both Canada average and Langley. We're at 54, uh, Langley's at 158, national average 60. Break and entering, well, in Surrey, that ratio is 484, so we are slightly higher than the national average of 431. But hey, we're way, way better than Langley, which is at 844. Now, let's all be thankful we don't live in Quinell, because in terms of break and enters, their incident uh, per 100,000 is 1,779 break ins per 100,000. Also, I know over the years, Surrey has had a real reputation for being home to a lot of drug addicts and drug sales and anything uh, related to drug manufacturing. But the truth is, Surrey is actually uh, well below the average number of arrests across Canada. So we're well below the national average for drug offenses. And this may surprise you, Langley is actually way above the national average for drug offenses. I think if you were to talk to most people, the assumption would be the farther out you go away from the main city centers, the safer the area is going to be, right? So people from Surrey might move to Langley thinking it's going to be a little safer. People from Langley might go to Abbotsford or Chilliwack. Well, I'm going to tell you that is just not the case. So if we go beyond Langley, what's next? Well, it's Abbotsford. And guess what? Abbotsford is ranked number 67 on this list, slightly ahead of Surrey for having less uh, severe incidents of crime. But their assault, 388 compared to Surrey, 368 incidents. Firearms were higher. There are more uh, firearm charges in Abbotsford than what there were in Surrey. 
Robbery, 51, so slightly higher than Surrey, which was at 54. But break and, uh, break and enter numbers for Abbotsford, way, way worse than Surrey. Surrey's at 484. Abbotsford is at 640. Now, Abbotsford is still better than Langley because Langley was at 844. So again, Surrey looks really good compared to our neighboring communities, as well as uh, most of the cities in BC and across Canada. So what are we ahead of the Canadian average for? What type of crime are we leading in or, or uh, well ahead of the average? Well, that's impaired driving. Surrey averages 216 offenses of impaired driving per 100,000 population per year. Now that's compared to the national average for Canada of 190 offenses um, for impaired driving per year. So who's the number one city or town across Canada for impaired driving offenses? Well, that would be Whistler. And I was kind of surprised that I thought about that. Well, I can see what happens up there. You know, there's a lot of partying going on, what have you. Anyways, they have an astounding number of 1,478 offenses per 100,000 population in Whistler. So let's go back to Surrey for a minute. What else is Surrey leading in in terms of crimes? Well, I'm sorry to say homicide would be a big one. Homicide in Surrey is at 2.64 per 100,000 population, which is higher than the national average of uh, 1.76 per 100,000. Now these homicide rates are, you know, they're likely attached in some way to gang activity, but you know, that's happening everywhere across the province, across the country, and it's certainly not isolated to Surrey. As well, hey, I'm no chief of police, I don't understand all this stuff, but typically homicides are not random events, right? Um, the victim generally will know his assailant. So I would, I would say generally, um, this is not a reason to uh, forego moving to Surrey. You're going to feel very safe here. The homicides are limited generally to people that know each other. You know what? So I looked at some stats further. Your odds of being a random victim of a homicide are pretty remote. Here in Canada, the facts, uh, the facts say that 15% of homicides in Canada are random, just 15%. So if we were to look at that number here in Surrey, 2.64 homicides per 100,000, we look at 15% of that 2.64, you end up with decimal 396 per 100,000 population of a chance of being randomly murdered, right? So that is less than half of decimal 1%. So the odds are very, very, very small. Now here's something to consider that you probably may not know. The odds of being killed by your spouse are one in 135,000. So sleep with one eye open, my friends. So I hope this helps ease your concerns about moving to Surrey. Surrey is an extremely safe city. It's a great place to raise a family. You will be safe here. Your children will be safe here. You can see we're very low on the crime scale compared to other communities that uh, you may have been considering a move to as well. So you are going to love Surrey. As well, you do have to keep in mind, you know what, common sense. Certainly, um, there are parts of Surrey, it's a huge place, let's face it. There are communities or parts of uh, Surrey that I would not generally walk around in after dark, but those are really few and far between. And those aren't places that you are regularly going to be visiting. I mean, you're going to be living in a community or a neighborhood, you know, far away from anywhere where there's a lot of street people, homeless, drug addiction or drug use going on, where there tends to be a lot more crime centered around certain areas. But of course, you know what, if you have questions, about that sort of thing, I'm here to help and I can answer any questions and steer you in the right direction and steer you away from the, the uh, most dangerous parts of our city, even though overall, Surrey is a very safe place to be. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please hit that subscribe button for me. I would appreciate it. And if you're thinking of buying or selling, reach out to me anytime. I'm Dan Ryder. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.